What's up guys, it's your girl Renee and I am back with another video and this has kind of been highly requested. I say kind of because of the fact that I don't have that many followers. I legit probably have like 24 followers, which I'm not complaining about because I want to say on a day-to-day -day basis they grow. You know, I feel like people are watching my videos and are starting to realize that I am making YouTube videos. So yay to you guys. <laughs> I'm so appreciative to the followers that I do have, but I definitely want to grow my channel. But I do say that it's kind of been requested because a lot of times when I post videos on Instagram or Facebook, a lot of my friends or family are asking me um, what am I doing to have my skin looking the way it does and um, what kind of foundations am I using and like you know all of those type of questions so I wanted to make this video just to talk about those things in general uh, like my skincare kind of and hit on a lot of my favorite foundations and kind of my routine of my everyday makeup look and so I kind of this is like the basics of what I really do before I even do like a glam look uh, this would be like the basics of what I would do on an everyday face type of routine and yeah so I'm gonna just jump right into skincare products so as far as my skin um, I literally sometimes suffer with acne I will get a pimple and I really get them in like my jawline area sometimes in my chin I suffer from uh, definitely hair bumps on my neck as well and I try to eliminate those and kind of like just a lot of discoloration in my skin and stuff and sometimes every now and then I'll get a bump like right on my forehead area and I think it's due to stress or it could be due to my diet as well so I'm trying to make sure I incorporate drinking way more water I know that everybody knows drinking water can help your skin it can help your body and everything your hair it helps everything so of course you know that so I've been trying to drink more water um, like I have kind of been failing at that so I had been breaking out and then previously I want to say a week ago I literally broke out in hives and I think it was because I was just so hell-bent on trying to make sure that my skin really like just becomes healthier and I just really want to eliminate bumps and the dark discolorations I have no foundation on right now and I just washed my face and so this is pretty much what my face looks like outside of foundation and I do have like some acne scars um, I get pimples right in this area here so after they leave or if I bust them which I know you're not supposed to do uh, they leave a scar and so it's really been trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and I started using black soap which was Maybe not the best choice for my skin. I feel like my skin is a little on the sensitive side, so I had to stop using that because I broke out real bad. But what I do use, say for instance, if I go to sleep in my makeup, which you definitely, definitely do not want to do, um, I would go ahead the next day, the next morning when I woke up, and use a facial scrub. And so what I have been using actually is the Neutrogena one, but I just picked this one up. This is the Equate, which is the Walmart version of... Uh, a lot of different brands, a lot of different name brands. And so this is the uh, pink grapefruit one. I have the Neutrogena pink grapefruit one right before this one and I absolutely loved it because I feel like it gently exfoliated all of the like makeup and cook and dirt and oils that were in my skin. And if I did not take off my makeup the night before, I would make sure that I would go ahead and scrub and exfoliate the next morning just to get that off and then go in with my washing routine. So I would actually exfoliate in the shower, which really works well because of that steam. I feel like it's opening up my pores and everything. So it really gets all of that crap out of there. And so I do like this one of the Equate one is very similar to the Neutrogena one, same scent and everything. However, if you don't like grapefruit, I think they, they have other scrubs, so yeah. The next thing that I had been using um, is this Cetaphil. Now Cetaphil is pretty mild comparing to a lot of other soaps and that's why I do like it. If you have sensitive skin then you should go ahead and try the Cetaphil products. And so this is the cleanser and this is the daily lotion. I recommend even if you have oily skin to go ahead and moisturize your face because it's super important for you to still apply some type of moisture even though you have oily skin. That will combat your skin from getting so oily and feeling so dry that it has to you know, uh, produce way more oil than it needs. If I'm going to exfoliate my lips uh, to make sure that I have you know smooth lips for all of those matte lipsticks and all those things I want to make sure I use the say yes to carrots well it's not say it's just yes to carrots um, and I like this one I feel like it's pretty mild um, and I like the way it feels when it when I I like the way it feels when I lather it over my lips um, yeah so this is what I use to exfoliate those lips and on top of that, before I apply my moisturizer from Cetaphil, then I go ahead on top with Witch Hazel. I am like almost out. As you can see, it's probably super empty. Um, I love this stuff. I use it with a cotton round and I just pat it all over the face. I got that technique from Jackie Ina. Um, I was swiping my face at first and she said, don't swipe, pat, because that's how you spread bacteria. So yeah, patting motions all over the face. And um, what I did also use, what I have been using for about a week and a half now, is the Dove Sensitive Skin Soap. This has been a lifesaver. When I broke out in hives, I was using this morning and night, 
and I was trying to not wear as much makeup in between that time of having hives and everything. This crap works amazing, honestly. Yeah, this has really eliminated those hives. Moving on to my routine of what I do for my face. I start off with my brows. I've already done my brows right now, and that's the first thing I do. Then I go into um, a primer. So for my primer, because I do have oily skin, I love the Black Radiance Shine Control Primer. It's pretty good. It's You can buy it at Walmart, and I think Walgreens as well, and it's super affordable. And I like that it comes out as like a lotion. A lot of other ones are like silicone based and I feel like they are helping to add oil to my skin instead of like subtracting it even though they say that they're oil free so I just apply this right on the forehead on both sides of my cheek on my forehead and I mean, on my chin and also on my nose area I kind of hit the lids a little bit if I have like excess product and then I just work it into my face and so when I'm doing my brows, I also like conceal around my brows to make them a little more crisp. And so the uh, primer and the concealer kind of rub them into my forehead together just to blend that out even further. And so what you see right here is my mirror. So you'll see it fluctuate back and forth depending on what I need to do. So just so you know. Uh, so after that, after I've already applied my concealer and everything, it's time to just break, basically go into my foundations. So let me share with you a couple of foundations that I've really been loving and I really feel like work well with oily skin. First things first is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This stuff is like bomb.com, everything. Everything you're looking for if you want mattified, my full coverage skin then you're gonna want to head you're gonna want to go ahead and purchase one of these the next foundation I like which is even cheaper actually is from black radiance and it looks like this their foundations are called the color perfect uh, oil free foundations what I will say about this if you do not use a primer you definitely will probably have your foundation slip around or if you don't set it you'll have it slip around because of the consistency of this product it needs something to stick to so if you don't have anything on your face previous to putting this on then you may not get the best quality out of this product however I put on a primer so I feel like it meshes well especially because they're both from the same brand so I'm pretty sure that they make them to you know, be twins to be friends together. So uh, I love this product because again, it's super mattifying. It dries rather quickly. I hate when you have to sit there and wait for your foundation to dry in order to like apply the next step, you know, especially if you're on the go, you don't have time for that. So I do enjoy this product. I feel like they have tons of shades and the shades really mesh well with your skin tone. Um, and one other thing I do like about it is that it has an applicator, which is pretty cool. And you can use this applicator right onto your skin. I kind of just use it to like, just slap it on and then use my brush to work it in. The next foundation that I also love is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. It is what it says, super blendable. I love the fact that you can only apply like a little amount on your face and then you can really work it into one whole side of your face. We'll say about this one is that even though it's on the cool side and it's supposed to be oil free, it still kind of gives me a little bit of oiliness if I don't prime and if I don't go ahead and set my foundation. So definitely need to start with this one, but the color is amazing. It definitely blends really well. And I want to show you guys is this one from Sephora. Now this one is the 10 hour wear perfection foundation. I look for foundations that have that slogan on them, 10 hour wear, 24 hours, 16 hour, because I feel like it's going to help me. I don't usually wear my foundation for that long anyway. Out at night, um, I'm definitely not going to be out for 10 hours. So I look for things that are going to last me all night or for one event that I'm going to or whatever. I don't want for my foundation or my makeup in general to feel like it's slipping all over my face. So this one really does last very long. Um, I will say that it's buildable to full coverage. It doesn't go on full coverage. Um, and then it says that it has technology of second skin. So it's supposed to be like a second layer of skin on your face. So it doesn't feel cakey. It's just supposed to be pretty light. So I do like using this in the summertime, I want to say. Um, and I can build on top of this because it's kind of lightweight. And yeah, and I also use it when I'm not in a super like breakout phase. I don't have any pimples and my skin is pretty, pretty chilled. And I'll go ahead and use this one. So those are my foundation. Jump right into my foundation. I'm actually going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte one. And so with this one, I just apply it directly to the face from the tube. I find it easier that way and you lose less product so I just pretty much apply all of my foundation all over my face I know I look pretty crazy right now I'm gonna be using this uh, Sonia Kashuk brush and I just apply some setting spray onto the brush just to make it easier to blend the foundation because it is a really mattifying foundation it's not as blendable and I kind of do some patting motion just to kind of spread the foundation all over my face
And then I'm gonna just apply a little bit more to like this lower half and spread it like on my neck area because like I was saying, I do suffer from ingrown hair bumps and scarring um, over the years. I was just poorly, you know, taking not taking care of my skin is how I, I really wanted to. Um, and I just didn't know to not shave. <laughs> um, so yeah, I kind of cover up those areas as much as I can and yeah, so you'll see like the foundation pretty much works in really matte and I like that. I love that because I have such oily skin. I love the fact that it works in really matte. It does kind of look like a layer of skin. It doesn't really look super um, like caked on. I will say that it's not super full coverage. You can definitely build upon it if you would like to. Um, but because I do usually contour and highlight and conceal um, those different like foundation or liquids end up on my face on top of the foundation so I don't feel like I need to cake on more foundation because I'm going to end up going over those areas all over again with another you know foundation or concealer okay so I'm pretty much done with my face this is how it looks after I've found put on foundation on my face next step is to go in with your concealer and highlight where you want to Yes, be brighter. Um, and so the concealer that I'm using right now is from NYX. I talk about this one in a, several other videos. This is the HD foundation and I use color beige, I believe. Um, I believe I use color beige. No, <laughs> I use color tan. Sorry about that. And I just go in and I just work it right underneath the eye area. And I like this color because it's not too bright compared to my skin tone. And it's really easy to uh, work into the skin as well. And then I'm going to just apply a little bit on my forehead. So now I go in with a beauty blender, but it's not a beauty blender. It's technically from Real Techniques and I use their um, sculpting sponge, I believe it's called or something like that. So you know what? I'm not going to use that one. Actually, I'm going to go in with the Sonia Kashuk concealer brush. I'm going to spray it like I did the other brush. Okay, so now I pretty much have my highlight blended. However, on my forehead, I think I need to do a little bit more blending. So I am going to use the like f weird side of the sponge. I'm going to just go ahead and blend outward just so it's not like a big triangle or circle in the middle of my forehead. And I kind of blend down towards my brows as well just to make it look a little more natural. Okay, so then next after that, I go in with my uh, contour. And what I've been doing lately is using a cream and then on top of the cream, putting a powder just to set it all in. And so I've been using the CoverGirl Queen Collection and I use it in Rich Mahogany. And I love this consistency. It's really blendable and it's a nice color that meshes well with my skin tone. I'm using another Sonia Kashuk brush and it's an angled like contour brush. And so I just go in, swirl some product onto the tip of the brush and just work it in the hollows of my cheeks. So I start at where my hairline or like sideburn area is and then I just work it down, but not all the way down, just like right about there, just to um, get just enough. And then here. And so this kind of goes back to what I was saying about how you don't really need to build on top of your foundation as much because you are going to go in with other things usually if you're going to contour or if you're going to highlight and everything you're going to go in with other products to kind of conceal and cover up any of the like blemishes that you did not cover up with your foundation and so um i also take the rest of the residue that's on the brush and i just stroke downward on my forehead area just to give it a little bit of a contour i kind of go here give that a little bit of a contour and then i'm going to go in with this elf brush and this is a angled blush brush but i use it for my concealer um no, my contour, and I'm going to blend upward this cream foundation. And I just have to blend it out so that it's not like a harsh line anymore. And I'm just blend it like down. And so it looks like that, but it's not gonna stay that way. And then I go ahead and I blend this down.
So on top of my concealer that I put for a highlight, I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend. And this is in color uh, Translucent, Translucent Sable. And I just take a Sigma F30 brush and I'm just going to go into that product, pretty much tap off the excess and then wipe it right over the areas which I've highlighted. This color is lighter than my skin tone, but a little bit darker than my highlight color. And so I do like it because I feel like it blends it better. Blends it all together. And you don't look like super, I'm going to say super fake, but that's kind of gross. Like you don't look as artificial. It looks more of like, you know, it's working together, blending together. And my next step is to kind of bake my face. And so I'm going to go in with the trans lucent powder from elf and i'm using just like a sponge a makeup sponge and i just apply it right on top i also want to do it underneath my contour just to make it pop. Next, I'm gonna go in and uh, definitely contour my nose area. You don't have to do this step, that's why I kinda included it last, but I like to contour my nose because it is a little bit, my face is very round, and so I feel like when I contour my nose area, it kind of like um, makes it a little bit longer, I wanna say, and a little more like chiseled kind of in a way. And so I go in from like the inside of my eye connecting to the bridge of my nose and I feel like that kind of makes it elongate, so. And I'm picking up this color which is from Black Radiance and this is in color, oh this is Rich Mahogany. So the Queen collection was actually called True Ebony, sorry about that. So this is Rich Mahogany. <laughs> So to blend that color out, I'm going to use the same e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to take it and squish it kind of, if you see what I'm doing, and then kind of creating a fan and just working it down my nose. And then blending it into my eye as well so it doesn't look harsh. And so now you pretty much have a nose contour. <laughs> So at this step, I would go ahead and apply eyeshadows if I wanted to and then start on my lashes and stuff. So I am not going to do an eyeshadow right now. Um, this is just going to be like my basic face pretty much. And um, yeah, I'm going to let this bake for like maybe two minutes or so and then go back in and show you. Okay guys, so it is time to dust off all of that bake. So I'm going to just go ahead and this is a really big fluffy brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to dust away all of the translucent powder that I have on my face. And I feel like I'm losing a little bit of that contour on this side for some reason. Um, I think I blended it a little bit too much. And I'm going to go back in with that angled brush from Sonia Kashuk and with a little bit of product and just kind of go over it a little bit. So now in this step, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my lashes. So what I do for my lashes is use several different um, mascaras, which I know can be a little bit much, but for me, I don't really use, well, not even don't really, I don't use any false lashes. Um, just a preference of mine. I have not started using them yet. And so because I don't use them yet, haven't used them yet, I'm going to go in with a couple of different mascaras. The one I'm using for my lashes, uh, the first coat is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Lash Mascara. And I just... Apply that all over top and bottom. Actually, I missed a step. So. <laughs> 
what I meant to talk about first before I do my bottom lashes is that I water, I line my wet, what is it? I line my waterline. Is that what it's called? Waterline? I think it's the wet line or waterline, whichever one. I line the bottom wet line and um, depending on what kind of makeup look I'm going for and what type of day it is then I either do the black liner which is from Sephora it's the waterproof retractable liner and it has like a little smudge brush on the end which I really like and it's in color matte black or I end up using the wet n wild cold pencil which is uh, in color pretty and meek this is a nice chocolate brown color um, and it's super affordable it's only like 99 cent at your local drugstore I think this one is about five dollars maybe I think so I go in with a smudge sponge this one is from elf and I just go right over it just to smudge it out a little bit to give it a little bit of a more smoky look and also it helps to keep your eyeliner on your eyes for a longer period of time now I'm gonna go in with my mascara and work it on my bottom lash so for my top lashes I'm gonna also go on top of that with the urban perversions mascara you heard me talk about this in my favorites I believe my 2015 favorites this mascara is bomb I love it I absolutely love it so now that my mascara is all done I go ahead and start on blush and highlight which is my favorite part of doing my whole face in general so I'm gonna go in with my blush first I use the black radiance and this is in color toasted almond and so I'm gonna go in with this elf powder brush Brush, and I love this for packing on color and so I just get a generous amount on my brush like so and then I just work it into the hollows and kind of go upward right on top of that contour and then I kind of pat a little bit on my face just to give me some warmth and then I'm also using something that's kind of new um, but this is the Milani blush in romantic rose I love this color as well because it's pretty light and romantic as it says but then it's also gives you a little bit more of definition in your cheeks so I'm gonna just go back in with that fluffy brush right underneath and kind of clean it up as much as I can Just to blend those colors and then the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and highlight and so what I've been using lately which I love and I only have like a really small sample of it and see if I can find them so it is the Burberry fresh glow uh, it's the luminous fluid base and I love this stuff I'm guessing that it's supposed to be used how I use it because it does have a lot of shimmer and shine to it um, but I love this to apply before I apply my highlight so I just apply it right onto the brush and this is a brush that is from Sonia Kashuk it's their concealer brush and I just go right on the areas I want to highlight so right in there and then I also just apply a little bit more on the brush like it's just like that much and right in here and then the rest I just kind of dip on the nose and but keep as well beforehand I was highlighting above my brow as well and I know a lot of people do that but I feel like it wasn't working out for me but if that's what you want to do and I'm just tapping it into the skin because I'm trying not to like remove any of my oh, don't do it I'm trying not to remove any of my foundation or the contour or the highlight anything that I've applied I'm just trying to work this on top of it not remove anything that's why I'm not doing any swiping motions and then on top of this I'm going to use the Becca and uh, the Becca and Jaclyn Hill champagne pop shimmering skin perfecter uh, looks like this I love this stuff because it's like makes you have the best little glow I'm usually use a different brush but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this concealer brush and I'm just gonna tap only a little bit because honestly you don't need that much and tapping like just a little bit and I'm gonna go right over that fluid base from Burberry and as you can see it's strong right <laughs> and on to the other side and then go down the bridge of my nose and then my cupid's bow now, of course, I'm not going to stay looking like this. I'm definitely going to blend it out. I think I'm going to go in with, uh, I'm going to go in with the fluffy brush and just really lightly dust over it just to blend it.
And because I feel like I need to further blend because I went in a little bit, I'm going to use the foundation brush that I used from Sonia Kashuk and just work it in because I don't want to look crazy, but... And now it's definitely worked in. And I'm going to go back in with that um, tapered Sonia Kashuk brush and just kind of go back over my nose contour because it got a little lost and blend it with that highlight. So there's no harshness around the nose and in the middle of the forehead and then go back on top with this brush that I used to set my highlight it doesn't have any new product on it just using the rest of the product that I had on it and one more tap with this brush and I'm not going back into any product I'm just using whatever is already on the brush and whatever is already on my face just to blend it out why is this disappearing I don't know. <sighs> but that is my foundation routine and my full face next I go in with my lips and so I've been using this Tokyo milk and it's really creamy it kind of gives you like a Vaseline look to it but it's definitely richer and thicker than Vaseline and I apply that all over the lip and work it in just to moisturize the lips a little bit so that when you apply your lipstick or whatever it is that you'll have a nice base and so I also am going to go in with this NYX lip pencil. This is in color um, Urban Cafe. And I love these lip pencils because um, they're really creamy too. So I'm going to just line my lips. So they gave it a really nice brown tint to it. And right on top of that, let me see what lip color did I bring. <laughs> I feel like I didn't bring one. I'm going to just go in with actually a new color. <laughs> Using all my new stuff in this one video. But this is uh, the Wet n Wild lipsticks that are like $1.99, which are, I can't believe how cheap they are because they're so amazing. But this is in color Cinnamon Spice. I'm going to just go right on top of that lip liner. So this is a really cute like brownie red kind of color and yeah. So this is the finished look honestly and this is just my everyday foundation routine really. Honestly talking to you guys has made this foundation routine kind of elongate to really long but I just had to describe the reasons why I did this did different things and what products I was using but honestly it doesn't take me long at all especially if you build up a routine of something it's always you're gonna master it and you're gonna end up doing it in 5 10 15 minutes if you don't have like a glam look that you're applying to if I don't have like an elaborate eye makeup or also my brows sometimes take me a while because I still am mastering how to do my brows but um, other than that everything else is relatively quick um, it doesn't take long at all and this is what my foundation looks like afterwards all I do is spray down my face with setting spray and so I'm gonna go in with the NYX one that I showed you earlier I know a lot of missing, but I just spray it down like that. And then actually what I've been doing also is spraying on top of that the MAC Fix Plus, which I'm looking for. Here we go. Give it a little shake, shake. And then and I love it because it smells so good. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. And if you have any questions about anything that I use today or if you have any uh, video ideas uh, that you would like for me to project for you guys to upload for you guys then please let me know because I definitely will I'm happy for the little subscribers that I'm gaining and I just wish that you tell a friend come to my channel subscribe and you know just be on this journey with me so thanks again bye guys